Hello? Oh dear, what's going on? Oh, that's me. Oh. <laughs> huh. Hello. Hi, Cancer. Um, this is your, or a message for you for June 2020. Everything you need to know about this reading is in the description box below. If this is about you and another person, this could resonate with theirs or even your moon rising or Venus sign. So this is um, just a message to give you a little extra oomph or maybe to remind you or to help you with clarity, but it's just something that you, it would be particularly important to you in June to remember or to know. Um, also, happy birthday. <laughs> it's your birthday month. All right, whoopsie, it's Cancer. All right, Cancer. A message for Cancer. Okay, Ace of Cups. <laughs> Yay, Ace of Cups. Okay, uh, Six of Wands. King of Cups, that could be Pisces. Okay. Six of Cups. Mm -hmm. Four of Wands and Nine of Swords. All right, so let's see. This is kind of uh, not mundane. It's just not earth shattering. Thank goodness. Cause I think there's been enough of that. Thank you very much with the past readings. <laughs> All right. So we got two sixes and nine and ace. Okay. All right. So whoopsie. It's this six of whoopsie wands about for cancer. The six of wands. So we've got Page of Pentacles. What's this King of Cups for Cancer? That could be Pisces. What's this King of Cups for Cancer? Three of Pentacles. Okay. It says Six of Cups. Six of Cups. Oopsie. Page of Cups, Page of Pentacles, Six of Cups, Page of Cups, Six of Wands. So two sixes and two pages, nice. All right, what's this Four of Wands? Cancer, what's this Four of Wands for Cancer? Temperance, could be Sagittarius. <laughs> Yay, okay, so you need to just chill. <laughs> <laughs> you, this is about getting back to you and taking care of you and yours and just the basics, keeping things really chill and just you doing you and baby steps in everything you do, job, every, you, you need to throttle back a little bit and regroup and restore and recuperate and to remember, this is the month for it, maybe it's the birthday month, but this is about you and it, it always happens at birthday months, right? But taking stock. Uh, inventory of your life and if you're doubting yourself or don't you've worked hard to get to where you were and and kind of your vibe right now for the cancers i'm reading for is um you're kind of enjoying being quite independent right now so if you're dating casually or even if you're involved this is going to be kind of a really independent period for you even if you are coupled with somebody so what's this nine of swords about for cancer strength uh -huh. okay so that that suggests an internal struggle you're going through that you're going to have the but but the good news is you're going to have the strength and capacity to deal with it in a reasonable manner you're not going to react you're not going to scurry you're not going to be afraid you've worked very hard to get to where you are you're not going anywhere um there's no knee-jerk reacting here even though you might feel like oh my god but there's this is like a processing month this is you kind of processing where you've been. It's a birthday month, so there's a lot of inventory taking and self-reflection anyway. But things are good and they get to be good. Um, you're just gonna kind of be laying low and if it if things seem to, because for the cancers I'm reading for, there's, there's happiness here. Um, there's a real feeling of either being connected to yourself and just being really happy with where you're at or with your person. Um, all is right with the world in a sense. You've worked hard to get to where you were. You'd do it again if you had to. But whatever you have, um, it's like a new state of mind perhaps. Realizing that life is good. Like I'm okay. I'm going to be okay. I, I, I'm here. 
You know what I mean? Like I finally arrived where I thought it would, what it would feel like and look like, and it is, and I'm good, and I get to enjoy this. Um, or if this is something new that you started, you two are on the same page, so far so good, and you're wondering if it has a potential, um, that you might feel a certain resonance with this person, but baby steps. Baby steps, baby steps, baby steps. Baby steps. That's uh, temperance. Could be Sagittarius. Because this isn't about rushing whole hog into something. This is about you not losing yourself just because somebody else showed up. And that's not a slam. That's just a reminder. Because, you know, when everything's new and whatnot and lovely, we, we do that. We just want to swim around the side of somebody. You know what I mean? Dad, don't make it that weird. <laughs> it's a feeling, not a, you know anything weird um so i like this because it kind of looks like it'd be the moon card but i like this because it's a reminder that if this shows up if this like fear and this like oh God, you've got the strength to handle it why because you've worked hard for this self-love that you have now you're not going anywhere you're not abandoning yourself even if this new thing shows up and it's like oh the answer is baby steps and not losing sight of who you are and what you've worked for. And I'm preaching to the choir. I know you know that. It's just, um, I, I think, you know, we, we've got a call for balance. Um, we've got four of wands. We've got a call for balance and harmony uh, in the home life here. Or, or just keeping things balanced and working and communal and thriving for you. Whatever this new thing is, is secondary, but either way, you're equipped to handle it. You've got what it takes. You've worked very hard to get to where you are. Um, this doesn't mean that you're by yourself. It just means that if you're in a relationship or, and it looks like you are, um, it looks like it's a new one. It could be a new job offer that you're very excited about, but if it's a new relationship, it's just a simple reminder of not losing yourself and, and staying true to yourself and not getting kind of caught up in the feelings and somebody else's agenda and then you wake up and go how'd i get here well you can get yourself back out of it it's just not gonna be pleasant you don't want to do that but if it's a new job this is something that's going to be very good for uh, you financially if this is a new job all things i mean it's just it's wonderful if it's a new job it's wonderful it, it continues the the financial streak this could be a shift from you doing something at home to a job outside of the home like going back out to a facility to work or whatnot um but it just it looks like it's a really good fit whatever that is having to leave the home to go to work versus working at home like maybe you were because there's a shift in um it's the it's like is it the same job that maybe it's a new job maybe maybe what it is is a new job in the same field maybe the, because it feels like it's kind of a lateral thing but it's still just as beneficial it's a lateral move but just as beneficial all things good here this is a new relationship. Um, it's, wait a minute, I'm sorry. Whoopsie, oh, the other way, sorry. It's not that you, because I, I know for, I can't remember who it was, but it's, it, for one of them it was, and I would have thought it would have been for cancer, it was don't lose yourself um, just yet. Like don't take care of everybody else and then think, okay, now it's my turn because you're going to attract the wrong kind of person. Um, I can't remember who it was for. But, uh, this is different. This is you being hesitant and being like, you know, I think I just kind of want to keep to myself or is this too good to be true? And what's showing here is that it's not, but it shows that you're still, there's still part of you that's just like, and not in a bad way, but there's this kind of this, I'm surprised the nine of wands didn't show up because, well, the nine of swords did, but this is all about you kind of having that a little bit of you reserved and held off over here. Just a little bit of you reserved. You're not all in. And that's okay. That comes in time, baby steps. And maybe that's why you're not all in because you're like, oh, I've been where I've been all in before and it's been wonderful until it wasn't, until this showed up. And then it was like, oh my gosh, how do I get myself out of this? And then you wake up three years later. You know what I mean? This is you putting yourself first and foremost with whatever this new venture is and it works. Dare I say it works because you do that, because you find somebody on the same page and you're like, I can't believe it. I know, right? So just you keep doing what you're doing and this doesn't have to be an issue because this is sitting on top of it you've got the strength now if this shows up you can handle it you might even be with someone or meet you know if this isn't a relationship if it's at work but i don't know why you share it at work but point is you'll be able to communicate that but you have what it takes to manage this 
to, to manage this right here if it shows up. Just saying. You can talk yourself down, you can breathe through it, whatever strategies you have in place because you've been there before. So it, you're, it, it's fine. <laughs> it's fine, it's, no, but you know what I mean. You, you, where you are now is by grit and metal and you've gotten yourself um, in and out of a lot of situations and you are where you are because of your experience. You could do it again if you had to, you just don't want to and you're a little leery. And good for you for putting yourself first really and, and keeping you first and foremost that's how it should be that's for, that's your name. feels like you're with somebody that is going to support that not compete with it six of pentacles hello <laughs> okay so yeah this is this is a um we got um temperance six of pentacles four of wands wow just you you just a little bit reserved holding yourself back remembering where you came from so that you don't want to do that again baby steps you got this you're fine yeah i mean i'm not dismissing it but it's like you know what this is all good things very unicorny i think you had another unicorn type reading before this is the second one so maybe it's actually a thing <laughs> maybe i was actually onto something <laughs> but um yeah this is can I just say though, I like that you're just a little bit reserved because you just don't want to make the same mistake again. I like that. I, I think that's very wise because I think when you love, you love hard and you give all. And I, I don't think this merits that yet. And I, I commend you for kind of being like, oh, want to wait until it kind of dies down into this whole six of pentacles, four of wands, not just the, the, this newness where we're on the same page and it feels really good, but just want to wait a little bit longer and you should good for you. How fun. Just a new romance. <laughs> Communicating when this shows up. Communication. This could be also too though um, that it's a, an online relationship maybe that you're not in proximity yet. That's okay. But there's whatever it is you, you really, you two, there's a fit here. There's a fit here. So um, Anything that comes up, this is because you're taking baby steps and taking it slow and there's a commitment to yourself and you kind of keeping that part of you, like your agenda, who you are intact. Um, if there are any issues, this is someone that you could communicate that with or just like there's open communication here. There's give and take. So good for you. Good for you. This is somebody that's, that's worth the time investment, if nothing else, and the benefit of the doubt early on. Yes. Oh, yay okay so three of swords oh we got distance involved here okay so three of swords reversed and um the world on its side <laughs> hmm apropos so that we've got possible distance here um could be i don't think this is about deciding whether to uh end something i think this is you kind of going is this really happening is this really it because this is a this is a card of completion and fruition also not just something being over and done this is like wow the you know the whole enchilada so to speak and this is you technically ready because you're over the hurt you're over the heartache you're, you've moved on you can see you know you have like a 360 view of your experience and you've come full circle with it um but as far as any new investments, definitely baby steps. Because you're kind of like, well, let's just wait and see. Like, you're not all in yet. Um, you're out of the woods, but you're, there's just this waiting and seeing here. And it's time. You're ready for it because you're over the, the hurt and the heartache. You can see it for what it was. But I think you're just a little bit hesitant. And you just need to know or need to remember that it's okay to put you first. And it's okay to communicate and to take things slow probably already knew that <laughs> but this is doubling down on that then good for you okay all right cancer happy birthday to you i hope to see you in the next reading thank you for stopping by much love to you all right you take care